VR Cinerig is a powerful extension of Blender's built-in VR scene inspection add-on. It allows you to use either a VR headset or a VR controller to animate realistic handheld camera movements by actively filming your 3D scene in real time. But VR Cinerig isn't only limited to controlling cameras, you can also use it to animate objects within your 3D scenes as well. To get started, download and install Steam VR, enable the VR Scene Inspection add-on, and download and install VR Cinerig. Under the VR Scene Inspection tab, click Start VR Session. This will automatically launch Steam VR. Go into the Viewport Feedback tab and select Show Camera and Show Controllers. This is the easiest way to quickly check that your VR headset and controllers are connected correctly. Go into the VR Cinerig tab and click Track VR Headset. You will see an empty created at the location of the VR headset. Next click Set VR Origin. The origin is essential for VR Cinerig to work correctly. It creates another camera within the scene that acts like an empty that can be moved around the scene to adjust the VR headset's location. If you don't need to adjust the position, you can hide the VR origin in the viewport. To connect a camera to the VR headset, you can select a camera and press Connect Selected Camera. If you need to track the controllers, click Track Controller, select a camera and press Connect Camera to Controller. To see the connected camera's view, press 0 on the numpad. The Enable VR Tracking checkbox controls whether keyframes are being recorded on each frame. To record a take, begin playing the timeline and go through the desired movements. When the take is complete, pause the timeline and immediately uncheck the VR Tracking checkbox. If you don't uncheck Enable VR Tracking, when you scroll through the timeline, your keyframes will be overwritten. Also ensure that the end frame is set high enough so the timeline playback doesn't restart before you finish recording movements, as this will also overwrite your keyframes. If you need to redo a take, go back to the beginning of the timeline, select the empty, delete all of the keyframes in the timeline, check the enable VR tracking checkbox and try again. When you've finished recording, if the camera shake is too much, you can go into the graph editor and smooth all the keyframes out by pressing Alt-O a few times. If you want to animate an object instead of a camera, position the object in the controller's location, shift select the empty and press Ctrl P and select parent to object. If you need the model's location adjustments to be scaled up, simply scale the object down. If you need help troubleshooting, check out the documentation section on the VR Cinerig Super Hive Market page or click on the Ask a Question button and send me a message.